Welcome back. We are here looking at the S&P 500 and this is going to be my weekly forecast for the S&P 500. And as you can see, on Monday we had a, a very positive um, uh, session and we have been on a bull run since ever since last week. And what we're going to see most likely is that we're going to retest these highs of um, 32, uh, 32 level and um, if this uh, if we manage to go past this level we will try to fill this gap over here and when that gap is filled we will test it the highs again um, i'm quite certain that we will get to this um, uh, area here but i also expect a lot of uh, resistance at this point um, bear in mind this is just the Fed that is propping up the market. This has nothing to do with economics at the moment. There is um, no technical reason why we should go back to the all times high when economic activity is not even close to where it was prior to the coronavirus. So this is technically just the Fed indicating to the market that it has uh, the market's back and uh, no matter what happens uh, the Fed will basically buy and support uh, the market in any way possible um, therefore I'm pretty sure that we'll, we'll, this will be quite choppy we'll go up and down up and down and we'll most likely take some time before we ever get back to these all time highs it may take several weeks uh, probably even months and um, and yeah, and in probably in the cases when the economy recovers, um, then we'll basically see um, us going back to these all time side. Uh, in the meantime, I'm pretty sure that we'll just go bouncing back and forward uh, within a range of uh, 3,000 because this is uh, quite a significant uh, support and uh, and. Uh, uh, 3200 level uh, thereabout uh, however if we were to break and of course we can always break this level we will fill this gap and we'll go to the all-time highs now if we look at the uh, uh, indicators we can see that the uh, RSI is at uh, 61 it is not overbought not oversold and um, the directory is uh, taking upwards at the moment indicating that we will most likely go higher uh, these uh, next uh, uh, trading session which makes sense that we will re retest these highs um, we can see that the MACD has just uh, broken the signal line indicating that we'll continue this uh, um, this uh, bullish run um, subsequently I technically will think that that uh, that uh, Bollinger bands are one of the best indicators at the moment you can see that when we hit the highs here we went down when we hit the lows of the Bollinger band we went up and we I'm probably most likely continue in this fashion by hitting the lows of the Bollinger band and then hitting the highs and then continuing uh, but uh, if we look at the stochastic we can see that the stochastic has in most cases it goes up and then it goes gradually down it's not very often that the stochastic goes up and then stays up here for a, uh, for a long period of time before it goes down again most likely the stochastic if, if you look back here it goes up and down and it goes up and down up and down it doesn't really stay for a long period of time it therefore i don't really expect this to stay here for a long period of time indicating that will continue a growth all the way i expect the stochastic to go up and down indicating that will uh, retest these highs and then go down again and and so on and bounce back and forward um we can also see that when we got to these highs we got a lot of selling pressure so just bear in mind that when we got to this level you know, people 
enter the market in order to short uh, the market. And that is also what I am, uh, am anticipating will happen when we reach this level. As soon as we hit, uh, reach this level, people will start to sell. And um, yeah, this is quite a good uh, short position. Um, just uh, make sure that, um, that you have a stop loss just above here if we were to basically explode to the upside. And as I said, as long as this has nothing to do with economics, this has all to do with the Fed basically propping up the market. And um, as long as that is the case, uh, we can basically uh, expect a continuation of, um, of the market uh, cycle that has been continuing ever since 2008, since the, um, the financial crisis. So I hope you find this video uh, helpful. Uh, you're welcome to like this video and share it and and uh, please click the support the subscriber button thank you very much <music>